Welcome back to Bame Farm. Today is a grand project day. Something I've been hoping to get done all winter. The greenhouse is getting new plastic. Um, for at least a year, it hasn't been able to inflate, um, which you really can't see from right here, but there's some big rips, and the plastic is well over 10 years old, which is pretty good life for this stuff. So, we've had new since sometime in January, and we are gonna put new plastic on before we get it full of plants. That way, we can keep it warmer in there uh, with our good uh, air barrier between the two layers of plastic. So, we'll see you guys as the action unfolds. Like, see that rip there? That's not helping us out, ever. Oh, hey, ladder. I guess we can do this on the fan. I wonder how long it's been ripped right here at the very end. Right there? Yeah, just like little tears by the anchors. I patched them last year. Because they were ripping there. Then this little... Um, there we got two... They have, like, these screws in them. Okay, so... Hey, look! The inside of the greenhouse! Yep. So that's... This little guidance strip here. Put the anchors through. Now, you see there's kind of a... I don't know, let's say a toothed edge. And it's supposed to match the edge of our little... I don't know, piece of aluminum here supposed to clamp it in, but for two layers of plastic, it's pretty thick. We put on some pretty thick plastic. Obviously, the thicker it is, hopefully longer life. So, well, uh, we got one screw to get out down there that I can't do with the impact. And then I guess we might be close to pulling it off. Now, there's a couple pinholes there. I think this is from the cat, that little gray cat that used to sit on my shoulder. Um, we found him a new home that wasn't here. Okay, but this, that's been there for at least a couple years. We've taped it up, but the tape's only so good, and eventually the you can see the dirt and stuff. It doesn't stick as well, and that whew, just lets the air come right out. We have more holes and more holes. And geez, there's tons of holes. Probably all from sticks coming off those trees. <clears throat> that's two big old maples. So yeah, it's fully patched, and we're going to try to do this with the chickens in there. Luckily, <laughs> since those came from a cage operation, they can't fly very well. And that's what I'm hoping for, is that they won't jump out this side. The other side's too tall. Hopefully there's not too much breeze to blow the plastic away. Yep, we're getting it started by hand. Ooh, there we go. I'm trying to keep it as straight as possible. Obviously, I guess they make these things to be multi-use, so you can put plastic on a greenhouse more than once. Twist yeah. Need a little pry bar. Okay. okay, they're in little sections. I don't know how Dad's doing with his screwdriver, but there's just not quite enough something to these. To get a good pry. Make sure it gets under there a little bit. But I feel like I'm working harder with the screwdriver than I was using my fingers. Just pulling at it. I guess it's helping because I can't get this one started by hand. Time to see what happens. I have a good crinkle on the plastic. Hey, look, the inside. And then the space in between the upside down. Okay, not quite. This isn't Stranger Things, but really. This air that's in here has been in there for, uh, I'd say years, but it will deflate and there's an inflation fan.
whole the whole thing is try to do it at once. Okay. Uh okay. Well, we're just about done. We got the uh, ends put on. That far end was a struggle. Just because we didn't quite leave as much plastic as I'd hoped for. Now down here, this was extra. We bought plastic that was way too big. We had to cut some off of this edge also. Um, just the greenhouse supply place. This, the extra large size was close to the top of the stack. So we decided, well, they didn't want to dig down the pile for the proper size. And uh, I guess this plastic's cheap enough. Um, but right here we see we got our uh, Torx head decking screws. There were some sort of leg bolts in these holes and they were, were screwing into a composite plastic wood fiber board. And the, uh, the leg screws had been used multiple times, they were rusting, and we couldn't get them to grab back into the board. So these screws are super long, supposed to be heavy duty, hopefully heavy enough. And we, they are much longer to get into the fake plastic wood board. And we had to go back on the other end, redo a whole bunch that didn't grab. So this end did them all with these screws. Um, we did unfortunately have a little too much fun. Just gotta make sure this closes. I know the chickens will get out there. That right, we got a hole here already. And we got a hole up there. Um, just a little too vigorous pulling this on, which when I was walking up across the top, yeah, it was a hard pull. I don't know if it's just getting over this edge of the gutter or what. And when we were trying to pull the plastic to uh, anchor it over the top down here, it was a really hard struggle uh, just to pull the plastic. So I don't know if there was that much drag or because we'd already anchored one side that I couldn't get a good pull on it to have enough. or felt like we had enough. Uh, to wrap up this whole party of a video, this is our little inflation device. It's nothing special, just a little squirrel cage fan, kind of like something you'd vent your bathroom with. Little hose. This is probably the only specialized part right here is this hose meant for inflating greenhouses. Cut a small hole in the plastic, there's a seal, and we did that before we clamped this lower side in down here. And that thing has been up there for many years, running continuously. I mean, why they're cheap, I guess cheap-ish little fans for venting your bathroom. And it works well enough to keep air between the two layers of plastic. So until more farming adventures, we'll see you later.